You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Avaris. Today's topic, the next generation in medical alert systems that are in home. With us, we have the CEO of Electronic Caregiver, Anthony Dorman. Uh, Anthony, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. All right. Now, you feel that you've created something uh, pretty special here with this uh, electronic caregiver. Uh, now, for people that don't know about your company, I guess you're kind of like like the national brands where if you fall down, you press a button, and it's an alert system, right? That's right. Okay. But when we say next generation, what do we mean? Because I guess for one low price, which is about the same price as, as, as the others, a lot of stuff is included. That's right. So I'll let you tell me. So, so what's included? The electronic caregiver is just like what it sounds like. It is an electronic home care system. We put in some equipment for free. Our customer pays a small monthly fee. And what they get for that is we put in a 24-7 uh, fitness band style emergency wrist pendant so that at the push of a button, if there's trouble from medical emergency to home invasion, they can press a button and they can immediately get response and a connection to help. Okay. One of the other things that we do is we put a console in the home that has what we call a medical concern button. The medical concern button is for that time in the middle of the night where somebody may have head pain, chest pain, abdominal pain, uh, trouble breathing. They wouldn't qualify it as an emergency, so normally they want to put it off until morning. They don't want to wake a son or a daughter or have an ambulance show up. And what happens in those moments is that very often there are escalating situations that escalate out of control by the time morning comes. Okay. So we give them a button that they can press 24 hours a day that links them immediately to a center staff full of certified emergency medical technicians. So EMT, they're on the phone with? EMTs, they're okay. on the phone instantly with an EMT. Telling them their symptoms? They explain to them what's wrong. Okay. And in more than half the cases that a medical concern button, and I mean, we tell them playfully, uh, hit this button at any time. I don't care if you can't find your television remote. If you feel distress or concern, press the button. We've literally had an operator stay on the line until they found their television remote. Is okay, that, right? all right. So, but it gives them comfort and reassurance, but in more than half the time they use that button, we have got to get responders or family caregivers or professional caregivers involved because there really is a situation the EMT identified. All right. Um, now, one of the, uh, the best benefits of the system is the electronic caregiver comes pre-programmed with their custom medication schedule. It comes programmed with reminders for their medication schedule. So the console will electronically announce that it's time for them to take their medication, or follow up on a, an important appointment. So at like at 2 p.m. they're supposed to take their blood pressure medication. You set up what? Is, it talks through the watch? It talks or? through a main console. If they're off site, the next call, if they don't acknowledge and cancel the alert, would go to their cell phone. So it actually acts as a remote reminder if they're away from their home. Now, if they don't respond to cancel the alert or pick up their cell phone, there might be a problem. So in the speaker system, they say it's time to take your medication? Is that Ex right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, medication reminder. We set up a calendar that goes with the console that shows them exactly what they're supposed to do and when. One of the main features that sets us apart is our dual watch inactivity sensor. And what that's for, Andy, is sometimes people are down and they're in trouble, in distress, or, un or, or they're unconscious, and they're unable to press a button. So it doesn't matter how many buttons you give them. All right. We put in a sensor that looks for movement once between 5 to 10 in the morning and again from 5 to 10 at night. Those are two critical periods. When we see that movement, we know they're okay. When we don't see activity during those windows, we know that there may be a sign of trouble. So we reach out to connect with the customer or get somebody on, from their emergency contact list involved to do a wellness check. So beyond just the buttons that are on their uh, wrist pendant, we put buttons throughout the house so oh. that a spouse can press it. Uh, it's in common areas where people get in trouble, stairwells, bedsides, bathrooms, and kitchens where sometimes fluids and slippery surfaces uh, meet and it's a common area of accident. So we put a lot of extra protection in. Sometimes uh, a spouse is down or sometimes a grandchild's left alone with, uh, with you know, one of our parents and they can press that help button if grandma or grandpa gets in nice. trouble. So it's a great feature. Um, some other things that we provide with the system. 
Uh, one, the entire system runs checks on itself so that we always know the system's working. The system checks in with itself and the system also checks in with us and gives us a weekly report so we know everything is working. A lot of other systems and older technologies don't do that. Are you stressed with the burdens of being a family caregiver while you're also trying to meet the needs of your own family? It can be a very difficult job and too many caregivers set themselves up for disappointment. You aren't superhuman. You have to sleep. You have to bathe. You'll take a phone call. You might nod off on the couch and in the caregiving business, I'll tell you, it's always that moment where tragedy strikes. It's that one moment where we're distracted and somebody falls and is broken and suffering and we're not there. The electronic caregiver is the thing you need to be able to do that superhuman caregiving job and to do it well and to do it effectively and to make sure you're providing the most comprehensive oversight and protection in the home for your loved one that's available today. Check our website, call our specialists, get your questions answered, see how we can save you money, improve the job you're doing as a family caregiver, and make sure that you never miss the moment. So everything we're talking about is not a necklace, it like, looks like a sports band. It looks like a fitness band, so people okay. don't have to feel embarrassed about wearing it. They can the feel confident. People don't like wearing those. I always thought they don't like it. They look. We, we get older. We don't want to. We don't want to admit our frailties, right? We. They don't even don't, like wearing hearing aids, right? They don't like to wear hearing aids. They all take so them out the at night. So it's the same kind of thing. If you're wearing a big necklace around your neck, right? With a button. So we put something on them and say, right. look, this, is, this looks like what 30-year-olds are wearing. This, it, it looks like you're counting your calories or your steps. And so they put this on. They feel good about it. Now, we ask them to keep it on. It's very important to keep it on because what our industry has learned over the last three decades is that people with necklace pendants, they take them off. And you know, our memories don't get better with it. Can they shower with it, things like they that? They can shower with it. Our wrist pendant goes on and can be submersed to 40 feet for 40 minutes. So it is uh, highly water resistant, it's fully submersible. And uh, the difference is that they're always wearing their protection. This has three football fields of range in and around their property. They can be out gardening, they can be walking the dog, they can be across the street talking to a neighbor. And uh, if, if they go down on a sidewalk or go down uh, in the garage, they've got a way to summons help instantly. Okay, now we should mention this. You know, people just tuning in, we're talking about the electronic caregiver and uh, it's the next generation of medical alert systems. Now your pricing, we should talk about it. With your best package that you even offer, this premium package, everything we've talked about is included. Is that, is that correct? It's, I mean, it's, about 50, it's about $59, about $15 a week, and everything's included. Yep, it's actually about $14 a week. Everything we've talked about is included, but one more major benefit that we have failed to mention yet, okay. which is we provide in 49 of 50 states, everywhere but Arkansas, a physician on demand or physician by phone service. Really? Have you heard of that before? No. Okay, so. Well, I've heard of like this telemedicine where you get to see a doctor like on Skype, on your computer. Is it the same kind of thing? It is exactly the same thing. So 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, you can pull out your member card, dial an 800 number, and uh, state what your problem is. And within 15 minutes, you will have a board certified licensed physician on demand on your phone. And you can even see them. You can see them on your computer or your laptop so you can talk if you to the want doctor. to. Yes. And this is included in everything else we've talked about. Yes, exactly. So, so every single day, I mean, so if they called every day and said, look, I have shortness of breath, I'm not feeling good, they could talk to the doctor on the phone. They can talk to a doctor. That's and for non emergencies, in many cases, that physician can even call in a script to their local pharmacy. So if they need an antibiotic or they're having a problem uh, with uh, an ear infection. Is it cost per call? Is that the way? That means every time they call, there's... It's another one of those defining benefits. We worked real hard when we put this program together. We knew that we had to get unlimited use and that that had to be part of our package. And so we've been, we've been able to put together a package where we provide that across the country, 49 of 50 states right now. They can call like right four now. times a day. They can call four times a day. Really? They can call five if times a day. If they say, I have a rash... 
They could call, so are they limited to only emergencies or could they call like with general, like I have the flu, I have a problem? Well, typically, look, typically in an emergency, somebody's gonna reach out for help or a paramedic if it's an emergency. Most of telehealth is for non-emergent care, which is about 90% of the, the doctor's visits out there, right? It's a, I have a, a respiratory infection or bronchitis. I have a ear infection or a urinary tract infection. It might be a problem with one of my children. And so I can phone up an 800 number and give them my member ID, tell them which member of the family is having trouble, whether it's me or, or somebody else in the family. And within approximately 15 minutes, I have a doctor on demand, on the phone, so or on So licensed medical doctor from their state, they get to talk back and forth to uh, whenever they want. Yep, and our service happens to be tied into the service providers we put together uh, this national service is the only one that is certified for telemedicine to provide support for pediatric care. So another great feature of this physician on demand is that it covers up to six family members. So everybody in the household is protected. So it may be your spouse, it may be your children. And when you think about the whole package that we put together here, it really is like having a caregiver. You think about what does a caregiver do? Uh, a caregiver is watching over you and advising and when there's trouble is uh, reaching out for emergency response when that's needed. And the great thing about the electronic caregiver is that it never sleeps, it never forgets, it never leaves your house to go care for another patient. It's always there, always on, always precise. It's the best protection that, that, that and when you think about the protection we're providing uh, compared to what live caregiving costs, a lot of times people can't afford it. If you were to just have uh, four hours a day, five days a week of a live caregiver, that's about $2,000 a month. So when you can get the next best thing yeah, where you can't afford- to a medical doctor. Absolutely. Uh, it's reminding you to take your medications. And look, people just tuning in, I'm not trying to side with you, by the way. I'm not endorsing you, I'm just asking the questions here. But for $59 a month, to have access 24 seven to a medical doctor, to get reminders, to have monitoring if you fall in, and, and fall and you're unconscious. It's, it's, and it's you're saying nobody value. else is doing this. That nobody this else package, has put together this kind of comprehensive support and package with the uh, fitness band style wrist pendant, with the medical concern feature, with the 24 seven medication management, with the dual watch inactivity sensor, with the EMT operators, adding in fire, adding in CO detection that's monitored with automatic fire department notification in a system that is doing self-diagnostics that's always reliable, always connected, and then tied into the ability to have a physician that you can reach out to seven days a week, 24 hours a day. It is unmatched in the market and we're very proud of the service we put together. Okay, before I forget, uh, uh, another piece of this physician by phone or physician on demand service is that you have access to behavioral health specialists. You have access- like psychiatric kind of advice? Psychiatric advice, nutritional specialists, nurses online, doctors online. So not just by phone, but you have a whole online support system as well as the, your member card for this physician service also ties you into a discount Savings. program. You can save uh, all kinds of on all kinds of products. So this is all on your website. Is that correct? All on the website. Now I know you brought a couple of videos to kind of show what what you have. So in addition to this fitness pendant looking thing on <laughs> fitness their, band style medical uh, medical wrist pendant. Okay, okay. In addition to that, you have these buttons that they could put all around the house. Correct. So this video is going to show us that you'll yeah you'll see a gentleman that has uh, been given a system by his mother, he bought a system for her, but then he ended up going down with a cardiac event, and so he's showing off his system. So he has these okay. extra buttons in places he frequents uh, and is active where he might have a recurrent heart attack. Uh, he's got one where he is working out, he's got them in the bathroom where a lot of people uh, end up having falls and emergencies in the middle of the night while they're using the commode. So um, there's different okay. places they're strategically placed throughout the house. All right, let's take a look. When I used to catch a lot of late night television, I always used to see those late night infomercials on medical emergency systems. I always used to think they were people in their 90s because that's all they ever showed. It was about a year ago I stopped by my mom's house after work to fix the sink in her kitchen. 
and uh, I was a bit under weather because of a cold that I had the week before. So when I found myself short of breath, I wasn't really that worried about it. I was standing by the sink in the kitchen and, uh, and I felt this sudden intense pressure in my chest. It was like I, I stood up too fast, um, but much more painful. Next thing you know, I couldn't control my legs and I was laying on my side on the floor. I couldn't call for my mom. I could hardly catch my breath. And that's when I saw it. That red button down near the floor. We had just installed an electronic caregiver for my mom. When we purchased it, Life Support Medical suggested that we install a few more emergency stations throughout our house. I touched that button. The next thing I knew, I was surrounded by EMT workers and I had an oxygen mask over my mouth. Today, I made a lot of lifestyle changes to prevent another attack. I have those little red buttons all throughout my own house. A year ago, I gave my mom hers for Christmas. And the next Father's Day, she gave me mine. The electronic caregiver really is like a security system for your life. When I tell my friends I can't live without it, I mean it. We talked in my green room. You know, my mother had Alzheimer's. Yes. We had to put Sorry. her in a uh, senior living uh, center. But three years before going in that center, she had a lot of false alarms and a lot of worries and concerns and waiting in uh, ERs for two hours just to talk to a doctor that talked to her for five minutes just to calm her down. So services yes. like this, I guess that's... This would know. have relieved a lot of stress and been a real support and blessing for you during that period of time, but it's, it's not just for people that are getting up there in years. There are people that have early dementia there are 30 and 40 year old cardiac patients. We have children with leukemia wearing a wrist pendant so that in the event that mom is out of earshot, they can get help. But we have a lot of chronic illnesses. We have people that have uh, diabetes and many complications from diabetes, uh, nerve damage, uh, neuropathy, uh, kidney and liver uh, problems. We have people that have heart problems and respiratory disorders. Anybody that's at risk at any age needs the electronic caregiver. It's just smart, sensible support. It's a lot of peace of mind. It's a great, great set of benefits. For so those anybody in their 50s, 60s that has a parent that's in, in their 70s or 80s or whatever, and they're starting to get some medical issues, are, are, are the adult children getting this for their parents? Is that uh, happening? It, it's more than that. We find, uh, we find a lot of adult children that are purchasing these for their families. They have worries, they have concerns, they're checking in all of the time, then they're so worried they're gonna miss the moment, right? Nobody wants to miss the moment. You can have a medical emergency that occurs in just a moment or two. You might just be going outside to, to, to get the mail and you're talking to a neighbor about how your mother or father is and that was the moment that they went to use the restroom, got in trouble, you come back in and it's too late. So we have worried adult kids that are buying these for their parents, family caregivers, there's about 52 million non-professional family caregivers. We also have a lot of spouses buying this for their loved one. We have a lot of, uh, of seniors where somebody falls and when they get older, they can't help their own husband or wife up off of the floor. So we get a lot of these that are buying it for a spouse. Are a that lot may of people some... falling, by the way? We're short on time, oh, but I mean, is it, is it a big problem? Falls is a big problem. Uh, many people don't know this. Falls is the number one cause of accidental death for people 65 and older. From 65 to 80, one in three will fall this year and next year. So one third of the whole population by your 80th birthday, it's one in two. By the 80th birthday, 50% of the entire population right? falls every year. Now, a lot of these people lay on the floor for many hours. Average length of is time right? they're down before being discovered is 18 hours. 18 hours. And that's the benefit of the electronic caregiver. That's what we're really here for. Uh, it's about, some people think, is it about, because we say we help extend lifespan to reduce medical complications, but it's really about reducing pain and suffering. Because when you're down on a cold floor getting hypothermic in your fourth and fifth hour, and there's blood clots and, and distress, and you may have a broken hip, 
you've got to be there in minutes. You can't be there in six hours. If you're there in six hours or later, uh, if that's when you descend on the scene, that person has a 90% chance they're going to finish the rest of their life in a nursing home. Whereas if you get there in a matter of minutes in what responders would call the golden hour, you now have a 90% chance of being able to live independently and live out your years aging in place. And that's really what the seniors want. So let me go through some of the things I looked at at your website and your brochure. Okay. That really what separates you from these other uh, so-called medical alert companies is you, when somebody presses the button and they're in distress, they speak to a real EMT. That's a correct. trained EMT. That's correct. Not just somebody that had limited training. That's right. Uh, but these are licensed EMTs, and they talk. And correct me if I'm wrong. That they, they talk to them until the the paramedics get there. They stay on the line until, until somebody is kneeling at their side to provide physical reassurance and and security so for the patient. So they keep them calm as well. I'm sure they keep their distress level down, keep them informed, continue to assess the situation. They might hear or learn of something that the responders en route need to know so about. So they could talk. What are they talking into? They could talk into the watch it's, as a receiver. We have a central console in bigger houses. We put in an extra speaker that has a highly sensitive microphone and a, uh, a, a large speaker system. And so that voice of that EMT is booming through the house. And okay. we're sensitive and the equipment was designed for people that have hearing impairments. Now we are short on time, but we're talking about these medical alert systems. You have a lot of competition that, that's on the market, okay? So aside from just having that little band uh, in, in, instead of a necklace, that are they mostly just to, to alert for you know, paramedics or, or fire, and are you a lot more expensive the, to get all these other features? Uh, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, you're right. They have their place in the market, and uh, they've been doing things the same way for a very long time. They have uh, very minimal services, very minimal amount of equipment that goes but they in will the home. contact the paramedics or They whatever. will contact the paramedics. But we're doing, for, for similar or same price, sometimes people discover that, that we do it more affordably than some of the competition. So you're about $5 extra a week. Is that true? Uh, to get all of these things, like the doctor that's service, true. Although, talking to a doctor. Although some people will look at their bill and find out that we can actually cut their monthly fee and then provide all these additional benefits where they've got 24 hour access to a physician, where they've got medical concern uh, for middle of the night interventions that are not emergencies, where they've got dual watch inactivity sensors, where they've got uh, EMT operators that are staying on the line. So there's so much more that we're pouring into the support with these families and these loved ones who really need that extra protection. And we're doing it and it's not costing people more. Or, or if it is, it might be an extra now, five contract, or ten dollars. In your industry, I, I guess it's it's uh, pretty standard, you know, two year, three year contracts to get lower monthly payments. Where are you on that? We see a lot of that. So we have what's called an easy out agreement, and this is really critical because there are certain questions that a person has to ask when they're getting a medical alert system. Am I getting physician on demand, 24 hour access to a physician? Do I have EMT operators? Am I getting dual watch inactivity sensing? Is there a medical concern button? Am I getting medication reminders? These are important questions, but around the contract, that's another important question, right? Am I locked into an agreement for two or three years that I can't get out of? Because if I'm not happy with the service, and that's why a lot of these companies lock you into these contracts, because they see a company like the Electronic Caregiver come out, and people want to move over and upgrade to the better protection. So you have, I guess, a 12-month agreement, but if somebody, I guess, moves into a permanent home or they pass away, they're out of the contract. If they end up in a nursing home. Or if they're 100% not happy, can well, they get out? We will not hold anybody hostage to an agreement. Our easy out lets them give us one of, of many reasons. Does it happen in your company? Where uh, people want out because the they're not happy? The only reason that we see, but not because people are unhappy because we bend over backwards for our clients, but what we do see is somebody inevitably uh, that's battling a, a severe chronic illness goes into a nursing home or escalates into assisted care or they're at the end of their life and they pass and you will be surprised. Uh, it's not something you want to hear, but some of these companies are trying to collect from families after a customer has passed on. And so that's not the image that we want for the marketplace. So we have an agreement. It's an easy out agreement. 
if you have any kind of hardship or any kind of concern or don't feel we're doing the best job possible, if we're not the best service you've had, then we're going to let you out of that agreement. Medication reminder. 1 p.m. Time to take three medications. I need to get hold of a doctor, please. I'm not feeling well. I'm going to call with some medications to your pharmacy. They should help you feel better. For your flu symptoms, since it's most likely viral, I'm going to give you some Tamiflu. I want you to take one capsule twice a day for five days and make sure you take all of it, even when you start to feel better. Hello? Hi, Erica. We've received a inactivity signal from your mother Shirley's electronic caregiver. And we tried to reach her by telephone, but we're unable to uh, make contact. It's not necessarily an emergency, but we do need somebody from the family to uh, go over and do a wellness check and just make sure she's okay. Are you able to do that? Yes, I'll leave right now. Okay, and what would your ETA to her residence be? About five minutes. Five minutes, okay. I'm going to update that in the system, and please let us know how she's doing. Oh, my chest hurts. I can't breathe. Emergency. Call being placed. This is the electronic caregiver and rapid response monitoring center. We've received an emergency signal from your home. I'm having chest pain and I can't breathe. Okay, I'm going to have the team send paramedics to your home immediately. And I'm going to remain connected until they arrive. We're out of time. Final message, somebody maybe speaking to the adult that their parents are in their 80s or 90s. What do you say to them? Uh, as far as when they should do this, when they should get it? And what do you say to the person that's watching this? Maybe they're likely to have a fall or whatever, but they've never fallen before. Or maybe they have a chronic disease of some sort. What do you say to them? Because maybe they're still putting it off or they're, or they're still skeptical. Uh, you know, I think that, that once we've had an event that we haven't been able to get help for, it's too late to have these conversations, right? So for anybody... And I think anybody that's getting into their late 40s and early 50s, I think that we all need a medical emergency response system at home. And although we may not have fallen or had our stroke or had our uh, dropping blood sugar and got dizzy and fallen uh, or had our heart attack, um, the moment's coming for all of us where we're all going to experience something. And so it is better to be prepared. My advice would be, when you get home after work or you get home from shopping, uh, make a phone call, get some more questions answered, and get an electronic caregiver. Extend your lifespan. Protect yourself against you know, uh, unnecessary hardship. And uh, enjoy the convenience of things like physician on demand and so much more that we provide. Okay, good. And, and if they want to go to your website, this is all there. Everything we've talked about. Everything is, is right? at electroniccaregiver.com. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Very interesting. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.